Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my 2022 fall decorate with me. You heard me, it is time for fall decor. I feel like kids are back in school. All of the decor is out in stores. Plus yesterday we dropped like 30 degrees and it was 77. It was amazing outside. Today is like 86 and we might have two more days in the 90s, but we're gonna count it as fall time because I am so ready. So if this is too soon for you, you can just watch and kind of get inspired. Start to figure out what you want your fall decor to look like, where you're gonna put it. I even bought some new pieces. So if you're needing to get those, you kind of have to grab them quickly, even if you're just gonna put them up until later. So if if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. And now we're gonna jump straight into today's video. This is all the decor I have to work with. Um, all of the stuff on the ground is new, and then everything in the tubs is items from previous years. Just a little tip, when you put away your holiday decor, put it in like color appropriate tubs or clear bins so you can see what's inside of it, but that way if I'm digging for it or if I send Chase up, which is what really happens because it's up in the attic, when I say, hey, go grab fall decor and Halloween, he knows to grab all the orange tops. When it's Christmas, he knows to grab all the red and green. Um, even like around the 4th of July, I have like red and blue. Easter's like a pastel color, so just keep that in mind. It makes it so easy for anybody that's getting down your decor. I will say this vibe right here is exactly what I'm going for for this fall. Last year, I did a lot of blacks and grays and greens, but I set all these items out and I was like, okay, that's exactly what I want. These I'm iffy about, so if I don't end up using them, I can just return them. I always save my receipts, but I'm really, really, really liking this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, and I think we're gonna start right here in the living room because it's always my favorite. I wanted to sort through my pumpkins just so I knew what I was working with before I got started. Um, I might have to grab a can of spray paint. I really don't wanna use any of the white this year. I feel like I had a lot of it. And then a lot of these pumpkins I spray painted last year. So I have lots of black that used to be gold. Um, so I may have to grab a can of this like light tan beige if I need more. I will say I'm also going to probably switch out this greenery because it's really green now. But other than that, this is looking good. For some reason, I feel really overwhelmed this year and I don't even have that many items. So when you start to feel like that, just grab the pieces that you know exactly where they go and then that will get the ball rolling and kind of help you out. And a sparkly shimmer on our skin. My biggest tip when you're decorating is keep in mind what style you like. For me, I don't love color, so if I put a lot of color in my house, it's not gonna last long. I'm gonna take it down before even the holiday comes. So I've learned if I just use the neutrals and the style of my home, it's gonna last longer. Now, if you love the pops of color, totally do it. Definitely do what works best for you. But if you're not a color person, don't feel like you have to decorate um, all the holidays in color. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand. 
Okay, so now that I have these in here, I feel like it's a little too matchy-matchy. If I were to keep them, I would even put something underneath them. I feel like they're a little too low because if I put them on a table or somewhere, when you stand back, you kind of don't see them. But I want a little more contrast, so I didn't think I was going to keep the white pumpkins. I thought I was going to paint them, but now seeing it, it may look really good. So I'm going to take these out and try these pumpkins and see if we like it better. Now, this is what it looks like with the white pumpkins. I think I like it better. Um, if I wanted to, I could spray paint these just like an ivory where they're not all the way this color, but not this bright. But I'm gonna try it this way just for a little bit um, to see how it looks, because I do have a lot of white in my house. Here is look one. I'm gonna tweak it with just a few different things and see if we like it that way better. I feel like these woods match really well, but I don't know that I love the print and pattern or if I wanna keep it more simple. So let me trade out those pumpkins and see if we can do better. And here is look number two. I think with the vibe I'm going for this year, I just like this. It's simple, but it still seems like fall with just a few touch of pumpkins. So I'm gonna leave it this way for now. So you'll have to let me know down below in the comments section, are you a color person? Or are you a neutral person for the holidays? So not how your house is decorated, but for the holidays, do you love to add the pops of color or do you like to keep it just simple and neutral like I do? Okay, let's take a short break because I actually want to share a company with you. It's Fat Pit Fun, and I do want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. They have an amazing deal right now, and they've given me a great coupon code for you guys, so let me tell you about it. If you've never heard of FabFitFun, it's a popular subscription service that sends you boxes of full-size beauty products and other goodies every season. So they have a seasonal box and it's typically $54.99 and you get about six to eight items worth around $300. But right now I have a code for you guys. So using the code VACUUM10, you're gonna get $10 off that first box with the code VACUUM10, making it only $40. $44.99 and what I really like is you can customize four of the items so if you kind of want to know what you're gonna get so say you're more home or maybe you're more beauty you can go in and customize those four things so you kind of have an idea what's coming but I love the element of surprise because when I go shopping I'm gonna buy the same thing that I normally do but this is almost like a gift to yourself or you could even buy this for your daughter I know Savannah would love something like this so these are great gift ideas too with all the holidays coming up and it gets you outside of your box to try something new and that's definitely really helpful to me I feel like sometimes I go into stores and I'm just so overwhelmed even if if I go in and I'm like, I'm just gonna look for beauty products. 
I'm just like in over my head, but if it ships straight to my door like this, like I said, it's a gift of waiting on your front porch to yourself. You get to try out new products, see if you like them, share them with friends. I think it's such a cool um, idea and just such a fun thing, especially right now during the holiday season. I picked up these like pumpkin eye patches, which I thought was perfect for fall time. And I love using eye patches at night. And it really just created this fun memory for Savannah and I to have together because we got to test out like the face mask and the pumpkin peekers. I don't know. It was just a whole lot of fun. So keep that in mind if you're needing a gift or just something like this for yourself. And this fall box has a value up to $300. And if you use the link and my code down below in my description box, and I'll pop it right up here on the screen, you're going to get it for $44.99, which is such a great deal. You guys saw the Michael Kors stocking cap alone is worth more than that. So you're getting a really cool value. You're getting to try out new products, which is always really Really fun for me because I'm one of those people I just go in and buy the same thing and I order the same meal at the restaurant um, I'm just like a creature of habit so this is just a fun way to shake things up plus these also make really good gift ideas so grab these they're stocking stuffers they're teacher gifts they're friends gifts so definitely keep that in mind during this holiday season so once again thanks again to FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video all their information is down below in the description box but now let's and get back to decorating. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. This is honestly my favorite <laughs> decor out of all of it so far. Um, I love this color. So um, you could always just spray paint. Like if you already have pumpkins at home, all the ones from last year I spray painted black. So just pick up whatever color you want and it'll save you a ton of money and it really does not take long at all, I promise. But I just love how neutral this is. Um, not putting all the black decor up really makes me want to get rid of all the black in my house. Like now I'm eyeing those black chairs back there and I'm like, mm, I think I just like all these light, like beigey, tan, and wood tones so much. As much as I liked the wood here, I think I need to get a smaller one because this one was just too big. I think this floating right here actually looks really good. I didn't intend for it to go there, but it's just such a large bowl. I think it's perfect. Now I need to just find another container in my kitchen that these will go in. I love these. I think this is exactly the look I'm going for. And I actually had a really sweet friend, Carol, um, from off YouTube send them to me. So I've got to find a spot for those. And then I think I'm going to take the greenery out of that plant and put it in this pumpkin and then use this as my centerpiece for now. And then I'll probably add some other decor around it as well. I will keep on searching for my eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on if you want to know how to make this, um, I did it in last year's fall decorate with me. So I'll go ahead and tag that video down below in my description box. Um, so you can see how I spray paint pumpkins and how we made this. It's just styrofoam and we cut the top out and then all you have to do is take any type of greenery or anything you want and like push it down into it. So I'm going to grab that and put it in here. Hi. Even if the sky is falling down. The day after I filmed this video, I walked into Home Goods and I found four perfect chairs for my dining room. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, you already know this, you saw it that day. So if you're not following me over there and you wanna stay up to date and see things that are actually happening in live time, make sure you're following me over there because I can share it easy. Or if you just wanna see the chairs that I bought and what style I went with, go check it out. I have my link down below in my description box. I am like cracking up off camera. I feel like this is a major fail. I think I had so much of this and I got it so deep down, I could hide the hole. 
So I think I'm just gonna have to cut this way shorter so some of, like, none of this should be showing. Like, that's what you do not want your centerpiece to look like. So give me a second. I'm gonna cut down the greenery some so when I push it in, this is going into here and we don't look so just ragged, I guess. <laughs> There are two ways to trim or shorten your ivy or greenery, whatever you're messing with. Um, I typically just bend it back and forth in all different directions and it will snap eventually. Chase is huge into these like wire cutters. So just do what's best for you. But if you don't have that tool, you can just keep bending it back and forth. Like I said, in all directions and it will snap and you can get it at any length you need it to. So I made a little bit of a mess, <laughs> but we figured it out. See how much like better that looks? It's like the thick parts coming out. So it's not like the tiny little twigs. So that looks really good. Let's try it on the dining room table now. Even if the sky is falling down. Next up, I'm gonna be working on these pumpkins. Everything in me wants to leave it in the black because I feel like it's just a really good contrast. But like before, now that I'm getting all this black out of here, I'm actually really liking it. Kinda wanna paint that wall back now, but let's not talk about that today. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these in here just to see what it looks like. So here in the guest bathroom, I can either keep the pumpkin over here, but it kind of gets in the way. I mean, this goes forward, so it's not a big deal. But since that pattern's a little busy for me, I kind of like the idea of just hiding it a little bit. So it's a little pump. It's a little pop of pumpkin. <laughs> what do we think? Does that look okay or is it weird? If it's weird, tell me so I know to move it. I have to say this is like my favorite piece and I can't find a spot for it. So maybe it should just stay there. What do we think? Is that too much? Is it like too much since it's right next to another bowl of pumpkins? Holding me as forever. Time changes everything. And everything will change in time. Love changes every heart. And any heart can change you. I think this rug is a perfect Obviously, the closer it gets to like real fall and not pre-fall, <laughs> I'm gonna put pumpkins and decorate out here. You guys know like Mr. Pumpkin comes closer to Halloween. So we'll work on this front porch later, but that is another whole video within itself. Now that I'm walking in this way, I realized I never put a pumpkin in here and I really like to have pumpkins or just holiday decor in the entryway living room, kitchen, dining, and guest bath. And I feel like I've done a lot of that, but I think I'm gonna grab one or two of those pumpkins over there and put them um, by the very front.
I'm trying to decide what I like better, if I like the soft, big pumpkin there or these smaller, wide ones. I also need to decorate like right here. So I may have to get a few more just like of these ivory looking pumpkins if I don't have quite enough. Okay, so I think I have everything where I want it for now. You guys know I get a little itchy <laughs> with holiday decor. So at some point I'll put up a fall home tour so you can see how everything looks. I will take you through everything I did today and I'm also gonna take you through Sabina's bathroom and bedroom because while I was filming this, she was creating her own fall looks. So I thought I'd take you in there just so you could see what some colorful fall decor looks like. <laughs> So we're gonna start off in Savannah's bathroom. She got this hand soap, and then she also picked up these four pieces and put it together. I think it's so cute. And then of course, can you really decorate for fall without a fall candle? So she has that up there, and it was just enough to add a little fall to her bathroom. And now I'll take you into her bedroom. Here is her bedroom. So she's got this like tradition or I don't even know what she would call it going on right now, but for every holiday, she likes to get a blanket for her bed and then a pillow for over there on her swing. And I just think it's a really fun and easy and affordable way um, for her to bring in the um, just holiday. She's a lot like me. She likes calming, she likes neutral, she gets overwhelmed really easily. So she's a lot like mama in that aspect. But just a blanket and a pillow is super easy for her. If one day it's driving her crazy, she can just take it off and then put it back on later. So I just feel like that's fun and something to do. I know as an adult, I always get like new hand towels and like hand soap, but that's for the season. And it's just an easy way to do it on a budget and you still kind of like feel the holiday. I'll do just a little mini home tour basically just so you can see all the decor that we set out. This is right here in the entryway which I think looks super good. Um, and then you walk into the living room and I'm just loving not having the black this year. I added the pumpkins down there which I think is super cute. I'm still in love with the coffee table, I think because I never liked my decor here in the beginning. And now I know not to put black on it. I don't know what I'll do when this goes away and Christmas goes away, but right now it's like perfect. I have the pumpkin candle going and luckily this is a really light scent because I get headaches easy, but it's not bothering me at all. And then here is the fireplace. I feel like it adds just what I need right now. So if you guys saw me redecorating this, I was like, it's totally lacking something. For now, the pumpkins are filling that void. <laughs> so once again, once the holidays are done, I'll have to figure it out. But right now, I just think it's perfect. And then we will turn, don't even look in that room. That's where I hit everything. We're gonna go into the dining room. This is a piece I'm not loving. So let me know what you guys think. I'll probably sw switch this one out. It's like, Sometimes I love it and sometimes I'm like, mm, we need to do something different. My floors are still all dirty, so I need to clean that up. <laughs> and then over here in the kitchen, I feel like we did really well. We have the wood bowl full of pumpkins. We have the hello fall sign. And then another bowl of pumpkins over there. So I'm sure as I'm out shopping, I'll find just a few more pieces just to finish everything off. But I feel like we did a really good job. Okay guys, thank you for sticking with me. I feel like the beginning was like a little rough. I was so excited to decorate for fall. And then once I started, I just had like this block and I didn't know what to do or where to put things. But I'm so glad with how it finished. I think it looks great. It feels like fall, but there's like a simplicity to it. I didn't want it to be overwhelming. I didn't want it to be harsh. And I feel like we pulled that off. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. If you haven't decorated yet, do it, wait. Whatever works best for you. I was just so excited to finally do it since the weather was cooling off here. But once again, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.
If you want a little real life behind the scenes, sometimes when you're trying to finish up a video, you just cram everything in a room. <laughs> so, and this is what we do. We do this, and it's all gone. <laughs> Subscribe, click the links down below so I make